Hey everybody, it's Cheryl. Welcome back to Technique of the Week. It's week number 46, and this week we're going to be talking about thermochromic paint. Thermal and chromic meaning changing color with heat. So uh, this stuff is basically a particle that is suspended either in the paint or in the dye that you mix it with. And I used to purchase this pre-mixed in these little, um, I guess these little tubes, and they were, the, the, the particles were already mixed into the paint medium. And these are great, except, you know, if you don't use it all, it dries out, things like that. So then uh, I went out and found the actual dye particle itself. Now these come in little baggies and you mix this into a medium like either a dye medium or a paint medium. And what I normally use is this golden acrylic GAC 900. This is the fabric painting medium stuff and you know this uh, dries completely clear. So what you would do is take some of your uh, your powder, mix that into your paint, and you're gonna to wanna to use your respirator and all your protective gear because you don't want this stuff getting into your body. And you can see here, just by me touching the dye, it's starting to change color. Now the color inside of this is, is black, but when it changes color with body heat or with any sort of amount of heat, it actually uh, turns clear. So you could paint this over the, another color and it would be completely black on the outside until you applied heat and then it will reveal the color underneath it when it turns clear. So to show you how that works, I've got a quilt sandwich here where I've painted the entire surface of the, uh, of this, this is actually a batik fabric and when you put your body heat over it, and I'm just gonna rub it a little bit just so that you can get some, some heat going, a little friction there. And when you pull, whoops, <laughs> when you pull that away, you can see my handprint and you'll be able to, you know, uh, see the colors of the fabric underneath. Now it's gonna mute that color a little bit. It's gonna dull that color a little bit down. Um, I have actually done this on, uh, like commercial prints where I've painted over it completely and then you, you know you could uh, apply body heat and it would actually reveal the little character prints underneath which is really cute and the way to get this to go back to its original color is one wait for it to cool down or you can use either a bag of ice or in this case this is one of those uh, gel packs that you freeze in the freezer and you just rub that over the surface and it's like a magic eraser. It just all goes back to the, uh, to the color of the particle that you put inside of that, of your paint medium. So this is really cool. So what I did uh, for my Technique of the Week actual weekly quilt was I used my uh, pre-mixed color, and this is a, like a turquoise color, and it goes all the way to clear. And I actually matched the background and this octopus character to sort of match a little bit of the background. So when I apply heat, you can see that all of the edging here that I painted in with that, uh, with the thermochromic paint disappears. So it's really neat uh, effect sort of makes the octopus appear and disappear and again you want him to go back to his original colors you just apply a little bit of the the uh, of cold or what I call the magic eraser so anyway this is a great uh, project uh, that you can use on uh, you know a, a sensory quilt you know you can use this for people who want to you know, sort of do hide and seek type things, maybe like a little matching game quilt. That would be really cute. Um, so anyway, the possibilities are endless with playing around with thermochromic paint. You can put it on, a, on an outfit, you can put it on a quilt. Uh, so give this one a try. Um, I'll have some resources for you for the thermochromic paint on my 
blog, so be sure to follow along on said blog at www.muppin.com. You can also subscribe to this channel and get a copy of the 52 Technique of the Week uh, video series in your newsfeed every single week. And you can also uh, subscribe uh, to my newsletter and get a copy of the 52 Technique of the Week checklist where you can follow along right along with us. And we're on the march here to the end of the series. We've only got a few weeks left. So be sure to check out the previous videos in the series because there's a lot more where this came from. So thanks, and I will see you again next week. So bye.